I was just watching uh, <clears throat> something on Snapchat it's about this guy who he was a traffic cop until he turned 29 and he had this realization that he was Jesus. He was actually Jesus. And his name is Vissarion. And he built a church and he it started with like a small gathering of like 20 people that believed he was Jesus. And it's grown to like... 4,000 members it, that live like on a hill somewhere in Russia and they have like a whole community of people that believe that this one man is the next Jesus and that he has a connection to God <laughs> and um, I was watching like an interview they were doing interviews and these people actually believe that he, you know, there's a real connection to God, and they believe that he's the Messiah. And um, there's no drugs allowed, there's no alcohol allowed, there's no meat allowed, there's no swearing allowed. And <clears throat> they believe suicide is okay. And uh, they have their own schools where they teach girls separate from boys and they teach girls how to live in harmony and how to stay away from the manly tasks and <clears throat> if a woman wants to be a leader they believe she's living in disharmony and she's going against the harmony so women can't be leaders they have to learn to <clears throat> be assistants to their men and that's all they learn in school. They learn their womanly roles. And the men learn <clears throat> how to work with power tools and how to be how to be leaders or something. And this you have to like hike up this mountain to see this actual guy. He gives a sermon at the end of the video. But yeah, it's all just kinda crazy talk. And um Eventually, they arrested this Visarion guy. They took him in to, to jail for pretending to be Jesus. So that just leaves like a community of like 4,000 people without their Messiah. And they, um, I don't know, one of them said like, it's hard to believe the man we look up to is rotting in a jail cell. But what are you going to do, you know? You can't just pretend you're Jesus, you know? How did he have that realization? What happened there? Maybe, I don't know, maybe he is the Messiah, you know? How do you just have a realization like that? I don't know. I've seen, an, I've seen another thing like this. Another guy thought he was Jesus. And he, um, and he, uh, um, you know, started a church and became the leader of the church oh this Visarion guy like wrote uh, his own last testament and it includes things like which laundry detergent to use in the last testament so i don't know what kind of last testament he's writing but anyway so on to this new guy this this other guy i heard of he had kids with like multiple wives and, you know, it was all right, because he was the Messiah, and they, you know, some people believed in him. But eventually, his church got, like, um, there was, like, being for people were being forced to leave by the military, and they wouldn't leave. And they were shooting at each other with, like, AKs. Like, somehow this church, people got their hands on AKs and were shooting back at the military. And eventually, how it ended was... <coughs> um, the, they like ran over the ran into the house with tanks and started the the guy who thought he was Messiah he just wouldn't leave he was stuck he stayed in there with his children the military set the building on fire and he he died he burned to death with his with all of his children and all of his wives it's just crazy so anyway that's the guy who thought he was Jesus because there's been more than one there's like there's like a Wikipedia list of all the people in history who've ever thought they were Jesus so it's not uncommon 
But geez, just crazy stuff out there about people thinking they're Jesus. Anyway, I hope I never run into someone like that who believes in who believes in Jesus. <laughs> just kidding. Or believes in a fake Jesus and I have to like listen to their testimony or their sermon or whatever. That'd be that'd suck. Oh, anyway. Well, <clears throat> that's my story of the day. Thanks for listening.